This is for YouTube now. Welcome back, YouTube. Welcome back, everybody. We've been trying to search for a 2B friend all day. The struggles of finding a 2B friend. One of the reasons why I tried to get my own other 7 star 2B. But we're going to be doing the bonus stage for C card. Welcome back, Heretic. We're going to be doing the bonus stage for C card. With two 2Bs. They're going to have their fire weapons equipped then. Unfortunately, I had to go with, with mine for dual wield because my friend unit didn't have the TMR on. He had Omega Weapon, which is kind of fine, I guess. We can roll with that. And we're going to be using Citra, Nyx, and Rem, and Seabreeze Fina. And hopefully my macros will treat me good. We're going to roll into the bonus stage here. And we're going to rely a little bit on RNG for the first fight. Because if Nyx can auto attack and put him to sleep right away, I'll make everything else way better afterwards. But if Nyx cannot put him to sleep right away, then we might have a little struggle starting out. But we can recover from it. We can do all the missions like this. I'm hoping Citra's Limit Burst is going to do enough damage to get the mission this time. Last time, I feel like we did not do that. Am I famous? Oh, you are famous, Shinigami. Yeah, we could have used Toxic Rain. Toxic Rain could have reduced the amount of RNG that we're doing, but... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try it with Nyx auto-attacking. Oof, so we didn't put him to sleep. That's a little unfortunate. And now we're going to try, since he didn't put him to sleep, we're going to try with Seabreeze Dark Fina. Okay, neither got put to sleep. So we're going to do Sorcery Dampener with Citra. We're going to make Rem do Undying Aspiration. And honestly, 2B can't really do much at all, so she's just going to, she's going to defend. 2B is going to be defending this entire fight. I was hoping that I got him put to sleep the very first time, but I never. So that's unfortunate. We need to get him put to sleep ASAP. Then when he gets put to sleep, we can get all the missions. But he needs, needs, needs to be put to sleep. Oof. Okay, he's sleeping. Good job. So because he's sleeping, I'm free to do whatever I want for three turns. This is turn two. So I'm going to do healing prayer. Great, everyone's recovered. I'm gonna dual cast here. Should <laughs> she's sleeping? Ah. We're gonna do Stone Ago and Water Ago for the mission. And we're gonna defend here. So he wakes up on turn four apparently. I'm not really sure why. He should be sleeping for three turns, but last time he woke up on turn four. That should not have happened. Either way. We sacrifice Nyx here. We dual cast Tornado and Raze on, on Rem. So we dual cast Raze. Yep, that should be fine. And we dual cast Tornado on our Seabreeze Dark Fina. Oh, you know what? We can dual cast Tornado here because we had auto revive on Nyx. So that's actually a little bit better because now we can actually dual cast the tornadoes. Um, I can work with that. We can we can work with that. That's actually pretty good. I like that. So hopefully he stays asleep on turn four. The first time we tried this, for some reason he did not stay asleep on turn four. But he should be sleeping for three turns. Yeah, good doggy. Okay. So we get to fan with 2B. Citra's gonna do her limit break. And hopefully this is gonna be a limit break kill. And hope that it is. If it's not, then I'll just cry in a corner. But this should be able to kill with limit break. Uh pew pew pew. See it didn't kill with limit break. I don't know, I don't know why, but my macro did not kill with a limit break there. It's unfortunate. 
I did not get the limit break kill. Okay. I don't know why. My macro just sucks, I guess. Oh, we got it. Oh, we did get it. Yay. All right, perfect. This is good for you, too. This is the video, boys. This is the video. We got the limit break kill. I don't know. I don't know how, but I'll, I'm going to accept it. And it worked out great. So we need to evoke an Esper here. So Sitch is going to be our Esper Evoker with Phoenix. Two more limit bursts and magic. So we can do this. I do use long drawn animation overkill it. There you go. Okay, so we can do this. This is the video. We need to make sure that Nyx sacrifices himself at the appropriate time here. Last time it seemed like he never filled up 2B's limit break for some reason, which he should have. He should have filled up the limit breaks and he never. Bad Nyx. I don't know why he did not do that. But this time you must do that. Beep, 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 beep. Maybe I, maybe I didn't click it right. I don't know. But he should he should be filling up. He should be killing himself at a time that's going to fill up the limit break. Um, so we're going to do Tornado, Tornado. Honestly, maybe... I don't even do Nyx. Oh, sorry, we don't want Tornado. We want Ultima here. Um, so we're going to dual cast Ultima. And if Nyx does what he's supposed to, this is going to be an easy fight. But if he doesn't do what he's supposed to, I may do a reset. And uh, retry it. Wow, I'm not going to say that in like a boogie because of YouTube reasons, but yeah. Um, so she's gonna chain cat with Phoenix. And Nyx needs to do this ability again. Ideally, this macro uses the 2B's limit breaks right away, and then Nyx refills everybody. But I don't know if that happened last time. It didn't seem like it did, but let's see if it did. I may do a reset and edit this out if it didn't work correctly. Let's just do it. Let's just try it. Yeah, so everyone got their limit break gauge. I don't know why they didn't have it last time, but maybe I did something wrong, but that should be fine. So now they're, now 2B is gonna have her limit break for turn two of the next fight, which is exactly what I needed. And the Esper revived everybody, Ram, Ram used her mana. Yeah, yeah, that was perfect. That was everything that it needed to be. That was perfect, absolutely perfect. This is it. This is this this is this is the turn. It took me three tries to make the perfect team count for this, but we can do it. So there's no items and defeat with an Esper and deal fire damage three times and more to an enemy. You're everything we needed you to be in Shadow. Thank you, Boogie. After after a long day of trying to find a 2B friend, we finally found one. And we can finally do this the way I wanted to do it. We can finally, finally do it. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Magic, for providing the 2B unit that we always needed. Do, 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 do. Hope, we got this. No, this is, we don't even need hope. This is happening. This is, this is where we do the strat that I wanted to do all along. Okay, so. 2B, welcome back, Dome. How are you? The legendary black user arrived. Um. So we need to do Supreme Support Weapon. That should break everybody. That should break him. Great. Um, I think what we do here is Citra Limit Break and Double Chain Tornado. Yeah, yeah, that should be fine. Dual Cast Tornado. He should, yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. Dual cast tornado here. Hey Maleficai, welcome back. I'm not really sure what Nyx is doing here, honestly. Oh right, Nyx does pod. Nyx does pod. So let's chain the tornadoes with Citra's limit break. Just got home from Fan Fest. Though. I hope you enjoyed Fan Fest to the ultimate extent. I hope everybody's excited for Katy Perry. Okay, so Nyx needs to do pod here. 
I knew that one day it would be amazing, Lord Infinity. So, we do pod here. Hopefully with pod, we don't take as much physical damage. Ideally. Great, great, great. It's good stuff, good stuff. Stream is lagging a lot, gonna restart my browser. I'm sorry that your stream is lagging. I don't think there's anything on my end, though. So, um, here we can do 2B's Limit Break, which is what I was trying to accomplish last time we tried this. And we're gonna do S for Finish. And Nyx needs to Suicide and fill up everyone's Limit Break again. Um, and next turn, Ram is going to, um... For next turn, Ram's gonna suicide for the Esper again as well. So I'm not really sure what to do with Seabreeze, Fina, and Rem right now. But right now we can at least do the Esper chaining. So let's do this and see how much damage we do. I think we clicked on Phoenix. I hope we clicked on Phoenix. Yeah, we clicked on Phoenix. No! Wait! Yeah, that worked. That worked fine. Okay, great, great, great. So he's at 20%. Um, Ram does Undying Aspiration. We're good, we're good, we got this. Ram does Undying Aspiration. And I don't know what she does. She can do... Um, I don't know. What do we do with her? Boost resistance to all the allies, maybe? Sure. She doesn't need to do anything, honestly. Okay, so we should be able to survive this turn. We should be able to survive one turn. Use the limit breaks and the phoenix again, and we win. <gasps> Citronite, right, we had auto revive on. That was part of the plan. Right, 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 I forgot. We did need the auto revive. I forgot. Okay, I almost panicked there. So, now Ram suicides. Bye, Ram. Thank you for summoning our Esper. And I'm back. I hope the internet is better for you, Malefikai. Is he still imperiled? He is still imperiled. So he's imperiled. He's imperiled. We have the two Bs. Nyx is going to defend. This should get the Esper finish. And this should kill him the way I want him to. This is what I've been planning for the last couple of days. This is where it all comes down. This is exactly how we do it. And we get the Esper finish with the Phoenix. That's how we did it, boys. That took three whole tries and three different party setups. We got it. We did it. That was everything I wanted to do for YouTube. I tried so hard. You didn't get Esper? I hope I did. I hope I did get the Esper. I got the Esper. Okay, we got everything we did. And... That's everything for YouTube. I am so happy I did that. I tried so hard to make that team count work. Thanks, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment on YouTube. Peace out.